On. Good fish, good fish. Oh, God! Oh, ready, city, let's go then. Uh, we're a privately held company, so you have to get uh, written permission from actually our corporate office oh, and our real? store leader to do it. Yep. Okay. So you uh -huh. won't be able to take any pictures while you're in here. Okay. That, that's fair. Uh, can I just like turn it off and yep. walk around it? Okay, yep. cool. Yep. As long as you're not taking photos of it. Okay, cool. I'll have to just ask, ask you to leave. Okay. Oh, so the assistant store manager here at Shields said we can't film inside the store, which kind of a bummer. But you know what? Hey, it is what it is. Let me lighten you up there. Wow. What'd you get, Cody? Uh, got some wax tails. Got some teardrops. Got some buckshot spoons. A couple flutter spoons. Gonna try these new clams out. Been reading a lot about them. They look good. Off to the small ponds for the panfish. It's today's goal. Like Cody just said, we're going after panfish. We're actually going after panfish in the pond directly behind Shields. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to let our buck, guys. I got some little jigs. We're going to have a little competition. First one to five fish wins. Cody, what's the winner get? What's, uh, the, what's the loser have to do in this? I would say... Buy someone a flutter spoon? There you go. Loser has to buy the other winner a flutter spoon. A nice one. One of those clam ones. The giant clam flutter spoon. A giant clam flutter spoon or flutter spoon of desired choice. How about that? Work. That's fair. We'll have to come back into Shields. Uh, we'll have to find out a different way to film it. No, I'm just kidding, store manager. I won't film it. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and I wore the, the TK Heaven merch inside. No one saw it, recognized it, but you know what? Maybe next time, brah. Maybe if I come to the Fox Rib, you know what I'm saying? Take a left. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in short. Oh, alrighty, guys. We got the bird. We got everything. The windsock is finally on the camera, I do believe correctly. So we're gonna test out audio a little bit today. See how she goes. Stay tuned, boys. We got a challenge coming up. Woo, gonna be a good one. I've actually never fished this pond before, and nor is Cody. So this is gonna be an interesting little challenge to see who can make her rain. This ice should be thick enough. I was here, what was it, two days ago? There was a little bit of open water out here, but nothing too much. This backside looks like she's frozen up more so yeah there's got to be there's got to be at least four inches back here i think so since neither one of us ever like ever fished this lake the middle of it at least we just got to find kind of the contour of a little bit and find our spot we're gonna poke probably seven or eight holes here right off the bat and see what she looks like 7.1 yeah and there's fish there's fish yeah those are all fish on the left Let's see if we can catch one Alrighty guys, just got to our first hole here. 7.1 feet. Not marking anything. Hmm, we're gonna go pop some more holes, I guess. Whew. Alright guys, kind of relocated just a little bit. Went a little shallower, just marked my first fish of the day. Once again today, we're using the, nine, or the 21 inch. Why is it whenever I start something? Oh, God, you can't, I just had a fish on. Are you shitting me right now? Alrighty guys, like I said, today we're using the 21 inch shield ultralight with the Fluger President reel. We got five pound ice braid on with four pound ice uh, for a liter. Those of you interested in the level of the ice, there it is. I'd say close to three and a half, four inches at least. That's some clear solid ice there. All right guys, we just had another fish on. It was a little bluegill. I've never caught a bluegill through the ice. So that's the goal right now. Get one on the ice. Always have a nice little uh, minnow scoop for your ice. Pretty convenient, not gonna lie. Little two dollars at Shields. And as always, guys, we're using the Helix 5, the bird. What is it? Eight. What's, what's, what's that? Five. I wonder what, like, the middle of it is. 
because it, it looks like just from the topography of the bank here, they dug they dug this out. But that means this is a good spot though, you know? It's it's the deep. The deep deep. On good fish, good fish. Oh god! Oh. Gosh. Man, that was a fucking digger. You, oh. Marking. Yeah. On. Oh my god. Oh, it's a bass. It's a large bass. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Dude. Oh my goodness. Are you guys kidding me right now? Oh wow. First large mouse right in the snoot, boys. Are you guys shitting me right now? Right in the snoot. Right where it's supposed to be. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful large mouth bass, boys. Are you kidding me? What a horse. Oh my goodness. My first bass through the ice. I couldn't be more jacked, guys. Holy crap. Holy crap. That is insane. That is insane. There he is. What a beaut, boys. I'm actually watching the footage of the fish I just missed on the GoPro, ironically. So, <laughs> wow, what a day. What a day. We're going to get back down there. Cody's been marking some fish, too. He's got to get on his first fish of the ice season as well, guys. Stay tuned. Couldn't be more excited. And just for reference, guys, we are using a Frostbite jig uh, with a little Nico worm. little white Nico worm. Really pretty simple. Just a little itty-bitty frostbite jig. Gosh, that was insane, bruh. Cody wanted to go to the trout pond and catch a little freaking eight inch trout. I was, I, I thought I had the drag too tight. God, I love this little rock. Fucking calm climbs are important. Guys, I've said it last year too. Knee pads. Gotta get them Walmart knee pads. Those painter pads, two dollars. Prime. Just key. I just love catching fish on a 21 inch rod. I love it so much. Oh, I need some B roll. Yeah. Like buckshot spoons? I was thinking maybe a, uh, like a rattle would work too. Something to draw them in. Wow, I just caught two bluegills and I didn't record any of it. What the? What did you just catch, Cody? Ha <laughs> ha! the old rattle bait, bottom lip. What do you got to say about that, folks? Just a runner under the ice. Just a beautiful largemouth there. What'd you catch it on? The old rattle bait. It's the old friggin' Rapala. Is that your first fish of the season? Yeah, that's the first ice. Fuck, it ain't a walleye, but we got first ice bass on top. See if we can get her off. Just a solid hook set. Bottom lip, huh? Bottom lip. Rattle bait? Rattle. Let's get her back. Had about a school of four of them down there, so. And she's gone. Thoughts? Jacked. Just switched over to a rattle bait. Thought white and green might do the trick. Dropped her down and right away I was marking like three fish. We'll see if we can get another one down there. I know there's two more down there. Give me a pump. Dink. Hell yeah. Whew. All right, guys. I just caught two little bluegills myself. Camera wasn't on. It was on, but it wasn't recording, ironically. So that's great. Cody's on the board. We're all on the board. It's turning out to be a pretty good day, huh? Like Mr. Wilcox says, hashtag keep grinding now, don't give up. Keep grinding, keep fishing now, come on. I thought you were snagged, your fucking rods doubled over. I'm just like, what are you doing? You're pulling your... <laughs> um. Oh. Jesus, big fish. Big fish, holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 oh my.
my goodness. Right in the snoot. Right where we like it. You guys seen that bull? Holy crap. What? Another one. Gosh. All right, guys, let's let him go. Woo! Hell yeah, boys. Oh, wow, I cannot believe that just happened. I've never caught a bass through the ice. Today we've caught two. Cody's caught one. This is just an insane day, guys. On. Oh, sh**. Ah. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Uh, me and Cody had a blast out here. We caught some largies, caught some bluegills. Uh, this pond's a blast. I'm gonna be here a lot more. Uh, if you guys come on out here, be sure to put your fish back. Don't be keeping them largies. Uh, obviously they're your fish if you catch them, but I would just recommend, you know, the kids come on out here. This is a good spot to fish. Really, really fun. Super stoked we caught those uh, largies. Cody, what do you got to say? Had a blast, you know. First, uh, first ice, basically. I went out yesterday with Russ for like six minutes, but uh, good first day. That's my first ever largemouth, surprisingly. So, new pond, new fish, new year. It's a good start. Can't go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you in the next one.